This is Classic FM. Welcome to the Classic FM Theatre. Jamie Crick here talking to John Wilson. What do you think of our theatre? Splendid. It's a little small. It's brand new. It, it does look rather nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Anybody been in here? Uh, <laughs> occasionally we pop in. Would you get the John Wilson Orchestra on the stage, do you reckon? Mm. This side. Yeah. Yeah. And we'd just sit there. Yeah, that's Three right. of us. A little private performance, Yeah, perhaps. why not? You've got a new album coming out. Mm-hmm. A Rosalind Hammerstein at the movies this yeah. time. Uh, and it seems like you're working through all the big film scores and putting them on to albums. Is that a plan? Um, what we're doing is we're recording the things that we've done in concerts. Um, we did the MGM things first years ago and recorded them for EMI. Then we did Rodgers and Hammerstein in concert and people up and down the country were, were coming up to us and saying when are you making a, a CD of that and when are you making a DVD of that and we hadn't planned to because you know we'd other things in mind we'd, we'd lots of Hollywood stuff that we'd been doing and that was way down the list but the number of people that were asking for um, sort of made enough of an impression upon us to sort of bring it to higher up the list and, and you're conducting I mean I, you know you, I know you've talked many times about the, the skill of conducting and what and when I watch you um, with the tails on and so on there's there's a kind of a Disney Fantasia 2000 Toscanini type way that you you, you have of, of doing it and so on I mean as a conductor how, how, how do you choose to, to relate to the orchestra because reading a lot about different conductors you do have to be a personality you have to choose to be somebody and how is that relating to the orchestra um, do you know I've never really given it any thought I could run away screaming if I did think about it too much. I mean, I was very lucky that I had a good teacher, really good teacher at the Royal College of Music, Neil Thompson, who was absolutely hot on technique and that your beat should contain the music and technically speaking, you should be able to get everything that you need results-wise with your hands and your eyes without opening your mouth. And so I actually don't say very much in rehearsals, although the players might say, to hell with that. <laughs> they might. But, should but we, not should we ask the orchestra? I'm not a talker, say. I'm really not. I, I try to be efficient and, 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 and quick and then just not over-rehearse, although I'm very specific about the, what I want from the players. Uh, I do like to keep lots for the concert, you know. So uh, 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 that's interesting. So when you're actually on the stage at the concert, it's kind of not it'll be all right on the night, but to a certain extent you've rehearsed this, rehearsed that, but you bring it all together and that's the moment where it should all absolutely... Gel. Well, it'd be much, it's much better that way than it is the other way well, around. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it? you don't kind of go for the perfect performance in rehearsal and say, we'll do that tonight. It's got to be no, there I, on the night. I, 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 I'm quite tough in rehearsals about basic principles. String sound, in particular, you know, being in the right part of the bow and making the right sort of sound. I mean, if there's one thing as a conductor I'm obsessed with, it's sound. I talk about sound pretty much the whole time. And you've uh, talked about that with, with the arrangements just now. And I was, you made me think of whenever Ella Fitzgerald comes on my, my iPod, what I love about the recordings is that she's there and the band's there and it's all done live yeah, as yeah. when they record it. And the way they balance that and the way the, the orchestra and, and her voice work together they'd is been, incredible. They've been doing it on the road f- for decades before they went into the studio, those musicians. And I like the, the great comment, which I love about... Um, playing in the studio orchestras in the 1950s. Alvin Stoller, who was Frank Sinatra's drummer, said it is brain surgery. Great. Good Christmas present, as you say. Yeah, buy in bulk. (laughs) Order for all your family. John Wilson, thank you very much for talking to us. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Cheers.